but prior to COVID, a lot of treatment centers were incorporating uh, physical fitness in their programs because it 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 does impact um, it does impact the the craving, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, the the whole thing about um, connecting spiritually because addiction is a spiritual disease, and so the whole thing with the connect exercise for me is about connecting spiritually, you know, connecting with my, with my body. I'm not talking about connecting with something outside of me, but connecting with my own spirituality within me. You know, um, for me, because I'm so competitive and I'm the only, and I'm competing against myself. I've heard you say that before. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm competing against myself when I work out. So I'm trying to do my best. Every time I work out, I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, break my best record. And so that helps me, again, to connect to my body. You know, because addiction is, is so much about disconnecting. You know, the world in which we live is about with all the social media and all the technology yeah. is so much about disconnecting. And so working out is about connecting to myself, connecting to my body. And so that's huge in terms of me staying clean another day. Yeah, and it seems like it's really important, particularly right now, um, when we have like COVID keeps us disconnected. And when you look at what's been going on in this country around race, um, yeah. dehumanization. Yes. And it's easy for a lot of people to get to get those messages and they start internal, like internalizing racism or, or right now and just like internalizing gender, homophobia, all of that, yes. that it seems to me that the work that you do and getting people to, to be fit and because you're a, you're a mind, body, spirit person. Yes. That it helps people stay connected to be able to be able to function and also create change. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And um, it's interesting because when I first started in this field, all I wanted to do was help people. Yeah. And, 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 and that's still my goal is to help people. However, in whatever way I can, I'm your biggest cheerleader. When, I mean, I'm hard and people will tell you I'm hard. That's what I hear, that's what I hear. <laughs> But I'm your biggest cheerleader. I'm very encouraging. You know, um, I'm your biggest cheerleader because I want you to get the most out of the session. Um, I want you to succeed. Whatever your goals are, I'm here to support you in, in reaching those goals. And, and um, leaving the stuff that's out there, leave it out there. When you're in with the session, this is your time and take advantage of this time because it's important. 